In today's video, we're going to be looking more closely at one of my personal favourite breeds, the Connie Corso, and finding out five new facts that you probably don't know about them. We're looking at everything from their traditional working role as farm dogs to their modern role as home protector and companion, and even which celebrities have loved this massive breed. This is definitely going to be a Connie Corso video that you do not want to miss. Welcome back to the Fenrir Connie Corso Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could ever want to know about the glorious Connie Corso, then how you can become a high level canine leader that's capable of raising perfect Connie Corso companions. So if you love them as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future one of our videos. So then let's dive into today's video and we'll look at five more amazing facts about the Connie Corso that you might not know yet. And the first amazing fact about the Corso is despite their imposing size and nonsense facial expressions, they are generally big teddy bears with their family. Corso owners around the globe marvel at their downright goofy personality and feelings that are easily hurt. They typically have no idea how large they are and will snuggle up to you in your lap as much as possible, and even more so if they see smaller dogs in the home do it. The breed is wary of strangers but warms up quickly when well socialized and their leader is calm and consistent. Even when playing with their family, they are quite gentle. Which brings us nicely to the fact in the number two spot, and that they use their paws a lot. A bug on the porch, a toy on the floor, your hand to not subtly demanding more affection, you name it and it's going to get swatted by a massive paw. Corsos aren't shy by any means and often border on downright bossy, especially when they are in their teenage years. Many people suspect their tendency to use their paws like we use our hands is due to the boxer's influence in resurrecting the breed. Their vocal nature and woo-woo-woo sounds they make when they are excited are also thought to be passed down from the boxer. No matter where it comes from, it is quite comical, but should be kept from getting out of hand because of the sheer size, it is something that can be dangerous. Now, speaking of getting out of hand, in the next fact is that this breed was nearly extinct in the mid-1900s. Starting in the 1970s, fanciers began to resurrect this ancient breed that was only found in small farming regions of Italy at the time. The bull mastiff, the Neapolitan mastiff and the boxer were all used to bring life back to the dying breed and expand the genetic pool. In 2010, the Connie Corsa was accepted into the ranks of the AKC and the breed has exploded in popularity more with every passing year. Movie star and all-around tough guy Vin Diesel is a fan of the breed with his Corso named Roman. Basketball legend LeBron James and well as many NFL American football players also have Corsos in their homes and are champions of this amazing breed. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behaviour. As a canine behaviourist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behaviour that are important for you to become a high level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviours at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviours. So again, if if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. Sliding right into the fact in the number four spot is that the Connie Corso is a born people pleaser when they have a calm and consistent canine leader, and it makes them a great choice for canine sports. They are extremely intelligent and do best with an experienced leader who can spend a lot of time with them. Through this and their high energy natures, Connie Corsos are willing to learn almost anything that gives them a job to do. For their size, they are frighteningly fast and agile. Pair that with their intelligence and drive to please and work and you've got one serious competitor on your hands. Now, always be mindful of their joints since they are still prone to large breed issues like hip and elbow dysplasia, but make sure you're being safe there and there's really not too much that this dog can't do. Now, bringing it home to fact number five is that Connie Corsos are exceptional with children. They have deeply rooted guarding instincts that extend to everyone in the home, including new babies. 
Many Corso homes report similar experiences with the dog being dedicated to keeping an eye on the baby and the rest of the house. This can make them ideal companions as the child grows and friends start to come around since they are easily socialised to everyday situations whereas many more guarding breeds struggle. Their high energy does mean that they'll want to run and play as the child grows but they settle quickly after about four years. It's always extraordinary and a true testament to the breed's character and temperament when a canine as large as the Corso is so aware of and dedicated to a new little life in the family. It's truly heartwarming. Now, this ancient breed has made quite the impact in the US and here in Europe with their imposing appearance and gentle heart. Their high energy level and protective nature makes them a great choice for the experienced canine leader that wants a very large canine that can be very active with every day. There's so much more to this breed than I can go over here in this video, so make sure you browse around this channel and see what other videos you can find and fascinating facts about this truly glorious dog breed. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you are new here and I can't wait to see you on the next episode here at the Fenrir Connie Corso Show.